it is general reading this may or may not resonate okay if it doesn't check out your other placements if you need a personal reading all that information is going to be below You guys have a brand new beginning coming out. Alright. Let's see. What is this Ace of Wands? Wow, someone's making a final decision. This is a second chance in love. Okay, this is a second opportunity that's coming through for you guys. I like that. That's a reconciliation, guys. That's a reconciliation. A clean slate. Brand new beginning coming up. Someone wants a second chance, so there's a second chance coming out. Alright, let's do this. Okay. okay. Give me one card for Virgo's current feelings towards the person they're dealing with. Give me one card for Virgo's current three of wands. You've been waiting for this for a very long time. Give me one card for the person that Virgo's dealing with for their current energy. The six of pentacles flew out, but I'm not going to take it, right? If someone wants equal give and take, okay? This is someone who finally wants reciprocity in the relationship, all right? And they finally want an equal give and take. This could be a one-sided situation, and you could have been waiting for this person forever, all right? Because you're the three of wands here. All right, give me one card for the person's current energy. That's what Virgo is dealing with. Five of wands in reverse. They don't want tension, okay? Someone wants to release tension. They want a reconciliation. They don't want no drama, no more. And they want to come, all right? with good intentions, with a second chance. And probably with three of one, this is what you were waiting for. You had, you were manifesting this new beginning and you were waiting for your ships to come in and they are. Okay. What are you feeling towards this person that you're dealing with? What are Virgo's feelings towards the person that you're dealing with in love? And so, you've been stressing so much about this, but there is no need to stress. This has been something that is on a constant basis on your mind, okay? You're in panic mode, you're waiting, but you're still panic about okay? it. With the Three of Wands and the Nine of Swords, okay? Manifestation, but a lot of panicking, okay? A lot of things going on on your mind, all right? This person has put you into... You, it's, you know, the Nine of Swords is not the best energy because, again, it's panic mode. It's a lot of negative thoughts, okay? And if you don't stop them, they can uh, manifest into reality, all right? Okay, what are this person's feelings towards Virgo? What are this person's feelings towards Virgo? What are this person's feelings towards Virgo? Seven of Pentacles in reverse. So it's like, you know what, this person feels that you've given up on them. It could be, alright? You're waiting, probably they don't know that. With the Five of Wands in reverse, I have to clarify, but I think that this person probably is... Yes, they want a reconciliation, they want a second chance. It could even be you who wants a second chance and you're stressing about it, right? But with the five of wands in reverse and the seven of pentacles in reverse, I feel that, you know what, you're waiting for this person to come in and you're stressing it out, right? This person probably has been waiting for you for a very long time, but with the five of wands here, I think this person thinks that there's a lot of drama involved with you and they don't want no drama, okay? They're giving up or probably they don't want to fight for this anymore because they think this is a bad investment and it's a waste of time. How, do they, how does Virgo view the person they are dealing with in love? How does Virgo view this person? Six of Pentacles, see? It had to come out, right? It did. You view this person as someone who's very balanced, someone who, who has an equal give and take, someone who's always been very reciprocal to your emotions, alright? Yeah, so I think it's this person who's been the one on the receiving end, okay? And you're the one probably who did wrong to this person. Don't get me wrong, but what I meant is that, you know, this is the person who's on the receiving end, okay? And you probably want Virgo. You are the one who wants um, a second chance and a reconciliation. You're waiting on this person, okay? But this person's giving up. Just to let you know. You're stressing about it, but they're giving up. You're waiting for your ships to come in, okay? Because you view, you, you, you view them as someone who's uh, very giving, very generous, okay? Let's see how this person views you. How does this person view Virgo? How does this person view Virgo? They view you with a four of cups. They view you as someone who's feeling rejected or someone... Okay. You view you, you... You... You view them as the six of pentacles, as someone who's very balanced. Okay. Someone who's always been very reciprocal towards you. 
they view you as a part of club so they view you as someone who didn't really give them what they wanted or they'd never really get, got the entire package they view you as someone who's constantly emotionally breadcrumbing them all right and that's one of the reasons why they think it was a waste of time you know something was a big fat disappointment and they're waiting no more whilst you're waiting for them and you're stressing about it they're not even fighting for this i guess okay what happened in the past between you two what happened in the past between you two King of Pentacles. So it looks like someone is very, very focused on their work, or there was a committed relationship. Clear for the King of Pentacles. Nine men in reverse. Yeah. So see, I think that you were dealing with someone Virgo who was very focused on their work, their career. Okay. Someone who's all about me, 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 me. And with the high man in reverse here, I feel that you could have released this person, or this was just someone you know who was very, who had a very one-sided perspective. Okay. They only thought from their point of view. Yeah, with the hangman in reverse. I think you're dealing with someone who is very stubborn and they were not ready to give in, okay, to the situation. Or someone who's again, they wanted things their way only. Alright, so this is, it's just the past. So, yeah. Again, I think things were very stagnant and on hold between you guys, okay. Maybe it was a commitment that was on hold. But I'm getting more of like someone who was very focused on themselves. They were all about themselves, okay. Well, it's not in the reverse, I get that, but in a good way, right? But this is just someone who probably had a lot of feelings for you, but they were just very, very busy to give you what you want, okay? Maybe your relationship was not their focus. There was love, but relationship was just not their focus. And they, they had a very hard time trying to see things from your point of view, okay? Maybe you wanted this and they did, or they were just not ready for it, all right? And that's why this person was constantly emotionally breadcrumbing you, okay? Or you could be doing this to this person. Okay, what is what are their future actions towards you? What, uh, what is the person, uh, how does the person that Virgo is dealing with move forward with them? What are Virgo's person's future action towards Virgo? What are this person's future action towards Virgo? Knight of Cups in Reverse. Why the Knight of Cups in Reverse? Do you have the Knight of Cups in Reverse? Yeah, see, because this is driving them nuts. For the Knight of Cups in reverse, okay, so this person does not want to be vulnerable to you, okay? I think this person is very, very emotionally shut off after whatever happened in the past between you guys. This person does not want to be vulnerable. They don't want to open up emotionally. Again, this could be someone very, very jealous or this could somebody, be some very jealous, possessive. But at the same time, I think this is person who is revoking an offer, okay? This person could have offered themselves to you a lot. This person could have opened up a lot to you emotionally and probably now they've learned the lesson under the Four of Swords in reverse here. I think this person is shut off. They're not ready to talk to you. Or it could also, again, see, Knight of Swords and Reverse, I didn't even ask. Someone's holding back communication. Next, we have a lot of Knights here. So we have the Knight of Cups in Reverse, we have the Knight of Swords in Reverse, and the Four of Swords in Reverse, okay? So there's a lot of restlessness between you guys. Probably this person wants to come out of isolation and talk to you, but um, I don't think they're wanting to. I don't think they will, because they're holding back a lot of communication, okay? Uh, what is the five, what is the most likely outcome between Virgo and the person they are dealing with? What is the most likely outcome between Virgo and the person they are dealing with? They're releasing this person. Give me one more card. With the devil in reverse here. Someone's letting go of this toxic connection. Okay, someone feels this connection is very toxic, and someone's ready to let this person go or let this relationship go because it's just ultimately the person's realizing that it's just draining them out emotionally. Why is the devil in reverse? Why is the devil in reverse? Ace of Swords in reverse. Because someone, because someone thinks someone's a liar and with a moon here, someone's being very secretive. Someone's being very secretive and there's a lot hidden and there's a lot going on behind the scenes that the opposite person thinks that there's some secrets and there's things that they don't know about, okay? With the moon here, it's like everything's in the unknown, okay? Could be dealing with someone who has a fear of the unknown or someone who just can't see what's going on, you know. This is this is someone who's having the fear of not knowing what's going on. Okay? And yeah, so that's what happening with the moon here because with the ace of swords there's a lack of clarity here in the reverse. With the definite reverse here. So I think that there's someone here who feels that they need to let this situation go or need to let this person go because it's extremely toxic. And with the ace of swords in reverse here they think they're dealing with a liar or there is just the truth is not out or someone's just withholding some, them, themselves from saying the truth. I'm getting this someone here who's pulling back because they just feel everything's a secret and everything's very unknown. They just don't know. They don't trust this. 
with the ace of wands and the judgment here there is a reconciliation coming in okay but i don't know i mean i don't know if uh, virgo you're wanting to give this person a second chance or if they want to give this person a, give you a second chance because the person on this side with the five of wands in reverse and the seven of pentacles in reverse i'm feeling this person is giving up because you were constantly emotionally break from them okay again in the past also we could see someone who is very very focused on themselves focused on their work career like i said about the hangman in reverse here things were not good they were very stuck and stagnant and something was just not moving forward you could have released a person who was very very focused on their work or you know you could just be dealing with someone who was just who was just focused on themselves and not on you that's why now the likely outcome knight of swords in reverse the knight of cups in reverse and the four of swords in reverse okay a lot of restlessness okay someone's reaching a boiling point okay someone's reaching a point of exhaustion and there's a lot of holding back a lot of holding back of emotions and a lot of holding back of communication they're just not ready to open up because again with the likely outcome they feel they're ready to release or they're wanting to release this toxic situation because it's draining them out it's giving them nothing by the end it's only giving them emotional emotional bread coming and that's something that they don't like it's like you know they feel that you're just giving them they're giving you the six of pentacles lord and you're doing the four of cups to them fair enough right they have a point so that's what i have for you work i don't know i don't know who's which side but let me know if this reading resonates with you like share subscribe and see you next time bye bye